good morning and welcome to the Snowdonia National Park and I've already got a fantastic view over here right across to Snowdon which is actually in the cloud but um, today's walk is the Connect which is up in the cloud up there and I'm walking with Alice. We've just got a couple of, uh, couple of days here I'm going to do some walking and climbing and I think we might do a little bit of bouldering later on this afternoon depending on the time. But right now it's about a 10 kilometer walk and hopefully we'll be at the summit. And when we do get there, the cloud will have lifted. It's meant to improve as the day goes on, but at the moment it's still stuck in the clag. So we've just come over this grassy ridge with a wonderful view down to Port Maddock over there. And there's also this amazing view. Look at this, up the ridge towards the Connect. And it, we actually thought this, this one in the front was the summit, but look at the cloud moving away there. The summit's actually at the back. And hopefully we're gonna get some views. But the cloud really is adding some drama. It's amazing. We're just making it to the top of this ridge. It's a little bit rocky, but the summit is free of cloud, which is amazing. And the views behind are breathtaking all the way to the sea over there. Snowdon Range, that way. I'm not very good at pronouncing Welsh mountain names, so if I butcher any, I'm sorry. But for the moment, it's all about this mountain. So we've made it to the top of the Connect and we're free of cloud as well. How amazing. It's been sitting on here all morning and only left about half an hour ago. So we left at the perfect time, but wow, is it windy. You've got a, such a good view right down the ridge, all the way to the coast. Big blanket of cloud over there. That's only just come in. You could see over towards Snowdon and then the rest of the walk that we're going to do today. We're going to follow this ridge down here, take a right past these small 
lakes or tarns, I don't know what they're called in Wales, and then take this diagonal path all the way down, not the minus track, the slightly lower one, I think. Such an amazing walk. The ridge is just superb, absolutely superb. And right at the end, we were right on the crest and it was just so, so good. So I'm just behind the Connect now. That's the summit right up there. And you can see down to this dam. There's actually a public footpath across the dam. And then this massive mountain here, uh, Molen Moor or something like that. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> My awful Welsh pronunciation. And we're actually working our way towards um, some disused mines now, which will hopefully be quite interesting. There might be some ruins or something there. Then we'll start heading back down the valley. So we're just trudging our way across the moorland down from the connect up there. And the path kind of disappears every now and then. It's not, not great underfoot as you can see here but we've just come across this lovely little lake here so i don't know what they're called in wales we call them tarns in the lake district but <laughs> who knows i'll call it a tarn it's lovely it's actually probably a reservoir because there is a dam at that end we're just approaching some massive areas of mining works and here actually we've just left the snowdonia national park there's a little circle in the middle where um, it's not actually part of the national park and I think it's because of the massive extensive mining workings and stuff like that probably I don't know but we've just left it as soon as we get to the mines we're going to turn right and follow the edge of the valley down but for the moment this is just gorgeous massive boulders in the water down there lots of skylarks singing right above it's lovely So I've only just made it a few hundred metres since the lovely little mountain lake up there and we've got our first view of the ruined mines as well and I wasn't expecting this but look at how extensive it all is. Plenty of buildings still standing, no roofs on them and huge spoil heaps and you can see some people down in there that look like they're going to go into the level or they're right up at the entrance. I don't know if it's a caving group or anything but we're going to head straight into it and if there's no one about at the time, hopefully get the drone up.
just walking around the remains of this amazing mine. You've got what look like rows of miners' houses. Inside you've got fireplaces and you can see where the second level was and all in such good condition really like the outside material. I don't know what this dates to. And then I think this here is an old mill and it looks like they would have channeled the water down and you can see where the wheels would have spun to power things. I don't know. It's just a guess but it certainly looks that way. So we're just beginning our descent down now from the amazing whoops, ruins of um, that mine. It was so cool and thankfully the wind was uh, gentle enough to get some aerial shots so it just looked fantastic. And we went right up to the entrance of the level and the cold wind that was coming out from there. It was, it was so cold, so cold, so like colder than the wind chill right now which is probably around zero but we joined this lovely path which just gently descends right down the side of the valley and all the way we're going to have amazing views up to the connect up there probably a mile and a half or so and we should be down We were just walking along the side of this valley and we were looking in and we could see the remnants of all of the industrial um, like action that was going on here. So I can see a tram line up there that goes round. You can see an incline diagonal straight down there. So either um, like a cable car system or a tram would have been lowered down. You can see down the bottom here the way there's a, a Y fork there where one tram would have gone straight up to another mine behind us. And then in the base of the valley, you can see a dead straight line where there would have been like a railway line or something like that, or a tram line to take all of the minerals away. It's really, really quite amazing. And if you don't look, it can easily be missed. But thankfully we spotted it. And I can see something else over there as well now. There's some pillars just up there. Can you see those pillars, Alice? There's some pillars just down over there and I don't know what they are. So on the other side of the valley, we could see this massive incline, obviously disused now. And there's a little tunnel that goes underneath another massive incline that goes right up to a huge mine up the side of the valley. And if I look down, there's some people coming up. Check that out straight down. Absolutely incredible. There's a little hut over there and we think that could be um, the person who would have changed the uh, direction of the tracks so they didn't get any derailments or anything like that. But massive amount of engineering work. This is all built. On the other side you could see all the layers of slate or whatever rock they've used. And clearly here they've cut into the rock as well up there. Amazing. Thank you. 